The number 444 represents archangels who are ready to help you. We yeah. all love Club Brand. Yes. Um, oh. And we all love it when people nag him about Bill smoking. Mar. Bill Maher, <laughs> yeah, remember. Saved a couple Bill Maher starts his show. We all love how Bill Maher starts his show. He's like this. Watch. This is Bill Maher to like Joe Biden. <laughs> so, yeah. Do you smoke weed? Do you want booze or weed? Do you smoke weed? Uh, no. And you know what? It's happened so many times that it's starting to get really funny. We decided we're going to cover these uh, parts where Bill kind of doesn't know who he's asked over. You know, it's so funny. Bill kind of thinks all these old timers that he grew up with are like cool with weed. But in a lot of old timers' minds, they just can't get through it. To them, they understand weed's being sold. We all do weed. To them, this is still a drug. For druggies. <laughs> you know, like when we saw uh, Bill Maher with uh, Chris Jenner. And he's like, you smoke weed, right? Want to take a... And she's like, what the fuck? Are you... Uh, uh, like, she was embarrassed to even be in the same room. as She's like, I'm going to be ruined. You know, that's in her head. She doesn't understand. And she sure as hell isn't going to start smoking weed. And are you fucking kidding me? I mean, this is something she would, like, try... You know, on her 40th birthday, like, while they were, like, overseas in a place, you know, nobody's going to find out. There's no fucking way these people are smoking weed. And to watch Bill not even realize this. I, I mean, you know how there's some, like, old folks? You're not going to smoke fucking weed around them. You know, they, they, they're they not on line. So we've got a good one here. Bill gets nagged about the smoking. Who's Oh, here we got a couple of them. Here he is with Gene Simmons. Thinking Gene Simmons was That's hip, impressive. Was, That's uh, a... was hip to the smoking. And I could have told you this. There's no way Gene Simmons. Hasidic Jew, Gene Simmons. I mean, did you watch Family Jewels? You see his daughter balloon into the weight she is now. You see how he treats his wife? And did you see how he runs his company? He's kind of psychotic, Gene Simmons, right? Like, I'm afraid of Gene Simmons. There's only one man I'm a, that is tougher than Donald Trump. And that's Gene Simmons. He could destroy this country in, a, in one snap. He's the Thanos of our world, and we have forgotten about Gene Simmons, and Bill Maher has forgotten about Gene Simmons' strictness. Uh, let's go to seven minutes in, and finally Bill gets kind of dressed down. <laughs> There's also a funny part where Bill's talking about someone who died, and then Gene's like, he passed. Yeah, I want to hear that after Here, this. let me find it. Yeah, here is Bill Maher with Gene Simmons smoking some cheesh. That's impressive. That's a baller move. And you kind of look the same because, you know. What do I do? What? Your, hair. You got hair. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You but, just have to worship Satan, that's all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's it. You always look like you worship that's Satan, just... and you still do. <laughs> no, you thank, know? thank you, I think. You know, so like you, you <laughs> no, I'm serious. Like some people, they look, you look at a picture of them in, in the heyday, and then they look oh. a picture of them now, and it's like, oh, it's night and day. But well, you kind of have the same Bill, exact look. Bill Maher. It's called no drugs, no booze, no cigarettes. See what you're doing there, that smoking thing? So I can hold my hand in front of my face and it won't shake because of oh. what you put. I'm not a health nut, but the more crap you put, that stuff too. I mean, if so, it- And Bill Maher is sitting there holding the biggest joint. The health nut, but the more crap- Look at this, Bill sitting here thinking everybody's hip to this stuff. Look at how big this thing is. He's sitting there going, what the hell? This is an interview? What the hell are you doing? So Bill doesn't quite understand this. And here he gets kind of disgraced by Simmons. Shake because of what you put. I'm not a health nut. But the more crap you put, that stuff too. I mean, if it's a taste here and there, I'm going to shake my finger in front of your face. It's not good for you. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> when did you become Aunt Blabby? <sighs> okay. Well, I've always been right, the same this is guy. The beginning. Really? Yeah, I don't, I, would remember, I don't remember you nagging me this much. Oh, okay, I'll quit. <laughs> but I do, I do recall having lunch with you someplace. Oh, yeah. I think it was for our TV show. And again, my point. Yeah. What were we doing? We were working, wow. which is a shame because I always loved you. I well, mean, okay. and like I would love to talk to you, but yeah, it's just the nature of who we are. Okay, so he gets ashamed, embarrassed by Gene. And then it keeps happening. We started taking, uh, taking uh, you know, uh, notes here when this happened. This is Richard Dawkins comes in. 
I can't tell you what a great pleasure it always is to talk to Does he think it's appropriate to open that giant, tall tequila bottle in front of this guy, let alone take out one of these? So let's see, what time code does he start? It's right at the beginning. Listen, listen to this. To you. Well, but vice versa. Especially in this setting, because, like, you know, we've we've had dinner. I mean, we've been out. We've done shows. But I've, I've, if I really want to talk to somebody, I want to talk to them right here, smoking pot, drinking, breaking down whatever barrier. So I'm going to try to get you... Very fucked up. I know you. I know you taught at Berkeley in the sixties. So you must have. Listen, I never did. Weed? No, never. Even in the Berkeley in the sixties. I was never even offered it, actually. Wow. <laughs> so Bill Maher thinks because this guy was around in the sixties that he's gonna be smoking a man. So Bill has got two. Do you see how he opens his hand? Look at this. Bill, before this happens, has got. Two giant joints. See, and these guys are going to light up. Is he confusing him for the guy who died who talks about DMT? What's that? Um, Terrence. Terrence something? McKenna. Yes. <laughs> are you confusing him with Terrence McKenna? I mean, this is just an old man. And listen to what the old man says. Here, we'll see that. Say that again. Here. Es so. Especially in this setting, because, like... You know, we've we've had dinner. I mean, we've been out, we've done shows, but I, I, if I really want to talk to somebody, I want to talk to them right here, smoking pot, drinking, breaking down whatever barriers. So I'm going to try to get you. He's terrified. Very fucked up. I know you. I know you taught at Berkeley in the '60s, so you must have. I never did. Weed? No, never. Even in the Berkeley in the '60s. I was never even offered it actually. Well, you know what? There's no time like the present. No, I'm not going to do it. Not, not in, in public, not in... Uh, I see. Oh, my God! He starts looking at it. No, never. Not especially with these cameras. No. What the fuck? You know, they want to leave. This happens every cast now. I mean, that was incredible. You, know, you see I this guy? It also happened with Weird Al, but I couldn't find the... It did for... happen with Weird Al. I know. He freaked Weird can Al you, can out. Can you think of a keyword? I, I could not. I was listening to nope. it at double time this morning in the shower. Hell no. <laughs> Weed? No, never. Look at Even this. in the Berkeley in the 60s? I was never even offered it, actually. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know what? There's no time like the present. No, I'm not going to... Not, not in, in public, not in... Uh, I see. Oh, dude, he wants out. He's looking at whoever signed him up for this. Let's get the fuck out of here. This is a drug den. So Bill Maher is like blind to this. So when you're watching Bill Maher, here's another thing you could do. It makes it ultra fun. Find these moments. It happens literally every episode. See, well, you won't mind if I do. Of course not. Okay. No, no, no. Now what about yeah, a drink? Of course not. No, thanks. No. Oh. <laughs> what about a drink? Listen to this. If I do. Of course not. No, okay. No, no. Now what about a drink? No, thanks. No. Can you, you might need to amend your email, Bill. This show is smoking and drinking. If you don't want to do that, please do not reply. Poor Bill. Can, I mean... It's like, you, come wait, on, you on. just think everyone wants to drink and smoke on TV? They think they're on HBO, probably. The day that somebody, Jeff Ross, excluded because he's a comic, but the day that one of these guests finally lights up with him, we're going to go fucking yes, nuts. Yes, yes, because <laughs> so it's really way. been a streak of no, 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 no. No one is touching this stuff. I sent you the Weird Al one in a oh, okay. text. Yeah, but let's see. Weird Al, Weird Al was the great. Smoking, but there was one good part where they talk about Roku TV. Yeah, that was pretty. Well, funny. this is pretty brutal. Um, so Weird Al, and this is a good story. Weird Al came out with a parody movie of a biopic of his life, and I was dying to see this. What my thought, life, Bill? And you don't even. I thought this was going to be a real movie, as we all did. We've all heard about this. A Weird Al biopic movie. And I go, let's watch it. And Jules goes, I'm having a hard time finding it. I go, well, what do you mean? Search for it. We use Apple TV at home to watch everything. We've got every app, access to it all, Apple TV. That's what we use. And she's reading and she's going, well, it appears his movie is only available on the Roku app. He has sold his movie to Roku, 
as an exclusive. I go, Roku? Well, that's a little different than selling it to Hulu or Netflix or HBO Max. I mean, Roku, I, why? And then she goes, Roku doesn't have an app for Apple TV because it's a competing device. And I go, oh, that's right. So in order to watch Weird Al's movie, you need a Roku device. Weird Al did not know this, and I could prove it. Uh, Weird Al thought Roku was like Hulu. He thought he was going to put his movie on there. They bought it, and that everybody would see it. Not realizing you need a stick. You need to be part of the Roku family to watch his movie and now, uh-oh, surprise, surprise, nobody is seeing it. You know, we thought this was going to be like an in-theaters movie. He's even done marketing across the globe to promote this movie. And he's like, yeah, it's on Roku. And people are like, Roku? Well, how do I get these? It's like, ah, you know, you got to. And he's so He's now just realizing, I sold my movie to a device, not a popular platform. <laughs> and now I've boxed myself in. No one is seeing this film we're going to see proof of that today. And he's so sweet. Like, I talk to this, yes. to Mike about this a lot. What's the time how, code, by the uh, way? Go to like 27 minutes in, I think. Okay. When someone is so nice yeah. that it almost makes me Sad. Just feel sick to watch and yeah. I like get upset. He's one of those people where he's too nice. So and this you is... just want him to lash out because. like He, he doesn't need to be this nice. Exactly. You're allowed to stick up for yourself, Al. Weird. <laughs> And uh, this is really, here, you'll see how this goes down. Watch this. But knowing he does a completely different special, as if you could do that, like bring in sets in two hours and wrote a, you know, the, he's watching Bobby Kennedy get assassinated and he writes, If I Can Dream. Well, I love If I Can Dream. It's one of my favorite songs, but it wasn't written by him or then. That's one of the things that they do in all these biopics is that they take things that happen oh. like days or weeks or months or years apart and they have them all happen the same night exactly. because it makes more sense from a storytelling perspective. And then they put a little uh, disclosure on the screen. You know, some events have been conflated. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, in other words, we just fucking made it up yeah. as much as yeah. we wanted to. Which is what I leaned into with my movie. I figured, okay, if I'm going to do a biopic, exactly. facts out the window. Like, nobody cares. Well, I would expect no less from yeah. you, Al. <laughs> it's a parody of a biopic. Essentially, yeah. Well, I can't wait to see it. It's on Netflix. It's uh, well, you can uh, no, <laughs> no. What's it on? Uh, from what I remember, it's on the Roku channel. It's oh my god! Does it just make you want to burst? So yeah, I can't wait to see your movie. It's on Netflix, right? Uh, well, uh, I um, <laughs> it's actually um on. Are you sitting down? Uh, Roku. I believe. I just don't know. I don't want watch this again. This is the coolest of the cool. Essentially. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to see it. It's on Netflix? It's, uh, well, you can, uh, no. <laughs> no, what's it on? <laughs> uh, from what I remember, it's on the Roku channel. It's free. But you don't need, well, the Ro what do you mean? The no, Ro it. The Roku <laughs> I channel. I have to educate you. The Roku channel is free? Yes. You go to the Roku channel .com and it's, it's. I thought Roku was the box that. Well, they do that too. <laughs> they, they, they make TVs, they make apps and devices, really? and they also have an actual channel. And then once in a while, the whole thing crashes and they have a little <laughs> animated what? Roku doll that comes up on the screen. Is that he, oh. somehow, I can't believe Bill Maher owns Roku. And he's now, he's talking about, he just transitioned. And look at Al's face. He oh just transitioned into, doesn't, isn't that the thing that always crashes and has a dancing man? I hate Roku. Well, thank you very much. The movie of my lifetime that I thought everyone was going to be able to see. They told me, oh yeah, you can see it for free. On Roku, oh. which is not available for Apple TV. I just want to Which holds a small, smaller bit than the market share of what's out there. So this is uh, devastating to Allison, which is his full name, Weird Allison, it's actually. <laughs> Weird Allison Swift. Uh, yeah, Allison. So listen how Bill, what Bill adds on to this. So it's on, he's got to make him jump through hoops to explain Roku. First, and it's like, Bill, he's already embarrassed. Yes. It's not on and Netflix, then okay? Bill does this, watch. And they have a little <laughs> animated Roku doll that comes up on the screen. Is that? Oh, I yeah, have not it kind of dances and I'm like, what are you dancing? My, you just <laughs> crashed my thing. 
I guess sometimes it has to reboot or something. Oh. I don't know. It's all complicated. <laughs> I, I, well, I, I miss the rabbit ears. I miss, <laughs> I miss going up on the roof and adjusting the yeah. antenna. Ooh. Well, so Roku channel. The, yeah, the Roku channel. So this is their... their... <laughs> He's got his head in his... The, uh, the Roku channel. Have you ever seen Allison like this? I mean, I felt so... He thought his movie was going to be like as big as Elvis. I know. Like, he thought we were all going to see this. No one's seen it. The number, he even talks about how nobody's seen it. Do we have that clip? Or is that in the same clip? Where he talks about how the numbers are very low, actually? Let me try to find see it. See if you could find yeah, it. Yeah, Jenna. Ooh. Well, so Roku channel. They, yeah, the Roku channel. So this is their, their one of their early forays into original programming. And, I see. Uh, and thankfully, they decided that they wanted to be in the Weird Al business. So, do, <laughs> do, <laughs> so, um... Do we all have the Roku channel automatically? We well, if you have a computer, you have the Roku channel. Okay, so, we're... so you have to go on your computer. Nobody is going to Roku.com and watching this Al movie on their computer. I mean, I hope fucking not. I want to see it so bad. I want to see it too. So he's digging in deeper. I bet it's so good. And Al's eventually, I think, is going to say, listen, I don't even know. I have no fucking idea. Who do we all can have we the find the man responsible for getting out? Yes. His movie See, that was a movie? bad I mean, deal. Like, there's that. no way. And he was probably uh, again. I think Weird Al thought that this Roku channel was, you know, one of the tops because he had heard of I it. It kind of sounds familiar. A theatrical release. Yes. And he's getting so he waived on. all that and he sold it to Roku, thinking, oh, it's like Netflix. Oh my! Because he don't know. And now his his dream is ruined. He's never going to get a second chance at this film. You know, people are just not ever going to see it, and then it just goes you away. Know free Britney. And they'll never release I it, those animals at Roku. I need this to be just Roku. as big. Yes. And the Roku knew what they were doing, I, I ponder. Roku yes. fucking knew. They're like, I can't believe he's signing this. Uh, 28,000 bucks? <laughs> All right, let's see. Do, <laughs> do, so... um do we all have the Roku channel automatically? We well, if you have a computer, you have the Roku channel. Oh, okay. So we're born so with it. So, oh, yes, I have everything. Yes. I have access to everything. Okay. Very cool. Even Al knows at this point, because he knows everyone he's talking to. He goes, you seen the movie? And they go, I, I don't know how to see it. Roku. Okay, I'll go home and try. And then they're like, what is Roku? You know, they're looking everywhere for a Roku logo. They ain't got the stuff. <laughs> You're, you point, it's we like don't. a chip in your brain. <laughs> it's not like something I have to order like no. Netflix. Well, if, I I have, mean, if, if you want to watch it on your TV, it's got a, you know, I don't have all the info in front no, of me. I, but have, I see Roku. Yeah. I mean, it's, if you want to watch it on your TV, well, I actually don't have all the information. And it's not Roku. Yeah, it's Roku. Roku. I mean, it's a disaster. <laughs> and these guys got to get out of the hands of these vultures stealing their art and destroying it by putting it on these shabby networks. He doesn't even know. He's like, uh, to be honest with you, yes, I, it's a complete disaster. Let's see if he talks about the TV. It's got a, you know, I don't have all the info in front no, of me. I, but have, I see Roku. Yeah. I mean, it's so, like, so, you, so you can certainly watch so it. So I must have it. You, if I have the box, have I must have it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, great. Fantastic. Yeah. And you don't have to subscribe. Like I said, it's, it's ad supportive. So, you know, listen every to now this. and then listen to commercial. This. But oh, okay. really? he goes, it's also when you subscribe. And Al did not have to. <laughs> Say this. This gets so bad, guys. I forgot about this Me part. Too. Listen to this. I can't watch her. Watch what Al does now. Everybody pay attention. This is really, really terrifying. You don't have to subscribe. Like I said, it's, it's ad supportive. So, you know, every now and then you'll see a commercial. But Oh, really? Yeah. But not in the middle of the movie. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah. Like, 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 yeah. Really? <laughs> it has ads in the middle of the movie. It's you're watching a movie and then it cuts to a... Who knows? Roku picked it ad. <laughs> and he's like, but certainly it's not in the middle of the movie. <laughs> it's actually every 15 minutes. Why? I mean, I can't believe when I saw this. Here, watch this again. Subscribe. Like I said, it's, it's ad supportive. So, you know, every now and then you'll see a commercial. But Oh, really? Yeah. But not in the middle of the movie. Uh, well, yeah, like, 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 yeah. Really? There's a commercial in the middle of the movie? There is, but oh, it's, but okay. Bill, it's All right, free. there's a commercial in the middle of this, too. There, so, see? So see? I'm not, I'm not busting your balls about it. <laughs> but I just, I'm glad you prepared me.
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you see somebody who's selling something in the middle of my movie, it's, it's not something that I thought of. It's so, the, it's the age we live in, so funny. Help him. Wow. That's and Bill Maher is sitting there appalled and then remembers that he runs ads in the middle of his content, too. And they go, well, we're both very repulsive, I guess. Well, we'll keep doing it. <laughs> um, I think the part, go to 2320, or 2120, sorry. 2120. It's my birthday, so. Wow. Double 2112. Tw- wait, 2320? 2120. 2120. Okay, sorry. This is not uh, giving me my time. We keep saying 2107 here. See, it's at whatever the end of that ad is. So just go to like near the end. No, go back. I know. Look at this. It just keep goes going, into most going, replayed. Okay. Here Stop. we go. Okay. Li- listen to this, I guess. Here he is. Oh, my God. Look at Grandpa. What's it face? Wait, can we show the time that he was wearing that pimp ass outfit that yes, I want to replicate? Yes, five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But look at this guy. This is how he does his ads. Signal wire is something you need. <laughs> Do you have signal wire yet? No one has signal wire. <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> ideas and trends with balance and nuance. They have constructive discussions that sound less like shouty cable segments and more like conversations between real people. So come join the conversation. New episodes of Lost Debate drop twice a week, every Tuesday and Thursday. Find them on Amazon, Spotify, Apple, YouTube, or wherever you get your shows. What about drink, Al? Do you drink? Oh, yeah, I'm drinking a Fiji water here. Yep. You don't, mm. you you don't show, drink. You have a lot to celebrate. You have a, you have a big fucking... New, new... <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to get ass sex in only 11 months. <laughs> Fake laughing. No, oh, you're... Yeah. you're uh... Your movie, you got a big movie. Yeah, look at it's just you. Doing well. I think it's doing well. You know, the thing with streamers, this is actually the reason why I wanted to sell it to a streaming uh, platform in the first place. You don't know how well it does, and I was uh, I was a little gun shy after UHF came out and. Um, UHF. You know, uh, yeah, I, 1989 came out. My oh. that's my first movie. I, I I spaced my movies 33 uh, years I apart. You were saying that was a streaming service. I'm like, oh. I, you know, like <laughs> even UHF is yeah. streaming. Any information no. actually but getting my across? First movie did not do well at the box office. And and uh, which was that? Sorry. Which was what? UHF is the name of the movie. Oh yes, I remember that. Sure you do. Mm. I do. Like remember Gibby Haynes. <laughs> give me hands. <laughs> give, 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 give. <laughs> but no, I, the, thing, the thing was, I, uh, you know, I, if I, I said if I put out another movie, it would be nice to not, you know, not bomb and not even have a chance of bombing because nobody, nobody knows the numbers in the streaming services. So it's getting great reviews and people seem to like no, it. No, it's big. I know because yeah. I'm aware of it. Yeah. Because like I, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't know. I guess I'm. Was that the part you meant? I'm just not yeah. cued into that side of the news cycle more the most people are m- much more aware of pop culture mm-hmm. stuff and i'm much more aware because of my job yeah you know i'm much of serious yeah. political stuff so when something like that gets on my radar i mean i haven't seen it but i'm dying to see it because you're funny you've always been funny i always thought your music was hysterical well, thank you so um, what he's saying is this movie is uh, very big and he's like well i haven't really heard anything uh, big about it you know they don't even share the numbers with me i don't even know and then he's like, well, if, it's, uh, if, I, if it came across my desk, it must be big because I don't hear about bullshit. You know, I only hear about the big stuff. And it's like, no. To me, it, it means that he is so sweet and so nice that yes. he's like, I don't need to deal with all this money and no. stress. All this stress about the movie being in theaters, I'll go with the streaming service. And then he gets the stress of Bill shitting yes. on him about Roku. He just can't get away from these awkward no. encounters. And I mean, this is Al's face the entire time. I mean, he is dying inside. He can't sit still. Pray for Al and please stream his movie. Please help this family. If Tim Dillon could do it, so could I. Nigga. Nigga. Yeah. Knock, knock. Just ugly. Who's there? A murderer. Murderer who? Let's kill Logic's kid. <laughs> Logic baby ugly. 